we have an ohmmeter is used to measure the resistance L of a length of nichrome wire. This is repeated for different values of L. Diameter is measured, cross-sectional area is calculated, we plot a graph, and the gradient of the graph is the resistivity of nichrome. So our equation that we're going to be considering here is resistivity, or resistance rather, is equal to resistivity times length over area. And we know our gradient is rho for the graph that we plot. We're trying to figure out what's going to be on the y-axis and what's going to be on the x-axis. And how you can figure that out is by thinking about what are the different ways in which we can rearrange this equation. So first of all, we can keep the equation as it is. So we can have resistance is equal to resistivity times length over area, which is the same as this, just written in a slightly different way. And when we write it like that, well, then our y would be r, our m would be rho, and then our x would be L over A. So basically, what that means is we plot a graph where we have uh, resistance on the y-axis, and then we have length over area on the x-axis. And then our gradient for this line would be, would be rho. So that's one option. But if we look at our options that we have on this, when we have r on the y-axis, on the x-axis, we end up having a times L. But we want to have L over A. So it can't therefore be C. The other option is if we were to have our A as our Y, so bring the A to the left-hand side, that's equal to the resistivity times the length. So now our Y would be our A, and our rho would be M, and our L would then be X. So Y is RA, and X is L, and that's what we have in option D. So our answer would be D. And then for seven, we have three different lengths. A meter ruler is used to measure the length. We have the following measurements. We're trying to work out the uncertainty. So when you're given or when you have recorded a bunch of different readings for something like length or mass or whatever it might be, and you're trying to find an average for them and then work out an uncertainty, to work out the uncertainty, you find the range, so the biggest minus the smallest value, and then you divide that by two. Before you find the range, you want to take out any anomalies. In this case, there aren't any anomalies, so we don't need to worry about that. None of these values are significantly different from any, any others. So then what we could do is get our biggest value, take away our smallest value, and that gives us 0 0.05. Range divided by 2, so that is then 0 0.025. But uncertainty is usually to one sig fig, so we round this we uh, usually round up when it comes to uncertainties. So then it would be 0 0.03, and our answer would then be C.